Hello friends, um, welcome. So all these arguments are dead. So let's talk about rewrite uh, API. So for example, let's we have registered a post types. I have already uh, I have already created a two movies. And if I just click here view, it says nothing here. So this is reg regarding the rewrite rules. Currently WordPress cannot identify the URL structure. So if you can see there is a uh, website name slash movie and slash the movie slug. Okay, and this is the URL structure we have create uh, by default created based on the movie slug. Okay, but currently it's not. But like when the po custom post types registered and when this custom rewrite rules have been added, we have to flush the rewrite rules. So there is a two way. Okay, either uh, either we can uh, go back and go to the settings and permalinks and the saver changes. So without making any changes, just click on a save change and it will flush the rewrite rules. This is the one way. Okay, but this is uh, uh, like uh, it will be uh, difficult for the users. Users don't know about it. So how we can do that? So when like in we can do on the plugin activation. So if you remember in the first uh, like in the plugin introduction, we talked about activation and deactivation hook. So what we can do is that we can like before flushing the rewrite tools we also have to register a custom post type right and the taxonomies as well so i am just copy this function and then uh including it here also uh, uh add a genre taxonomy we will also talk about this taxonomy part but later so i am just copy this function here and then edit it here and then after registering i will call flux rewrite tools function okay so like when the user install this plugin and activate this plugin these two post type will be registered and then it will flush the rewrite rules and uh, and since it's not stored in the database the registration part so we have also have to uh, execute this function on in on any talk okay so this fun this callback function register post type will call on every uh, request okay so let's we have did this thing so what we can do is that go to the plugins deactivate and then activate again go to the movies and if you see click on the here then now you can see that our movie post type is working fine right and since our uh, we have passed the has archive true so has archive true so what you can do like you can uh, go here and if i just simply click here so you can see the archives movies okay here you can see the archive so all the all the movies uh, post will be displayed okay but currently it's a movie only how we can say like change to like plural okay so in the has uh, archive page you can pass instead of the true you can pass the movies and this will be used uh, as a uh, archive slug okay and but for also that also we have to flush the rewrite tools so now we can be uh, uh, we, we will go through the different way. So go to the settings, permalinks, and the uh, um, save changes. So it will uh, it will just flush the rewrite rules. Go to the view, change it here. Just remove this one and a movies. Okay, and now our archive page slug has been changed to movie to movies. Okay, so this way has archive also worked and about the rewrite uh, argument we will talk in the rewrite api okay yeah so this is all about uh, register of custom post types and what are the arguments uh, it's uh, this post type do have and we have go through all of it okay and some of the uh, arguments we will go through the another video okay now let's have some look at the uh, function definition what exactly it does so in the register post type, you can see there are a few things done like the sanitize key function use to just make sure that uh, it does not have any bad thing. Just have a, like post type and a slug. It, and in the post slug, post type slug, we should not have dash or uh, sorry, space or anything. So it, uh, either you can use dash or the underscore. Okay. So and sanitize key function will make sure that. And if it's more than 20, then it will just throw a error and all if looks good then it will create object of the wp post type so you can go through this class 
and this class are uh, used to save all the uh, post type uh, properties and methods and everything okay and uh, so if you see sorry if you go to the uh, construct method it says set props so it will set uh, all the properties in the set props uh, you can see it will just pass the arguments and it will uh, call the filters register post type args and this filter is very helpful so using this filter you can modify the arguments of the of the post type register post type arguments okay before it registering so if there are any third party plugins registering the post type and you want to modify some of the arguments so do, that you can do uh, using this filter okay so by looking into the wordpress code and going through the functions definition this kind of information we can get and we we don't have to do anything on a google or anything we can get all the information right from the wordpress code okay so use this filter and it passes the uh, post type argument as well so in the second argument you can just add if condition if if particular this is post type then filter the register post type arguments else it we, we will just simply return the default arguments we don't want to do anything okay so these are the like uh, filters we can use and more, more other things also you can you can find it out into the function for example if all the functions have been registered uh, like post type is registered it passes the do action so on a do action if you want to do something when the post type is registered particularly or all the post type register then uh, they can you can do like for example logging just for debugging purpose whether your custom post type has been registered or not so you can you can do that and all this information stored into the global variable wp post types okay so when you register a post type it do not save the registration of the post type into the database but it's it's it saves in a global variable and this register post type function needs to be executed on each and every request and that's why we have register callback function on any hook and under that callback function we have called the register post type function okay and it also pro add add supports and it also add the rewrite tools so if you go through here based on the uh, our post type slug and everything it added the rewrite tools and based on the rewrite tools wordpress will identify what post type url have been uh, uh, requested and based on that url structure wordpress will identify what content needs to be displayed to the user so rewrite uh, for that uh, rewrite tools are very uh, needed okay and we will learn about in another video See you on our next video. Jai WordPress.